Hello boys and girls, we are back on this wonderful and really really pretty old and that actually has a reason because today we're gonna do another challenge. The challenge is fist only. This is probably gonna be like one of the hardest challenges I've ever done in my life. Like not even gonna lie, I feel like there's not a single challenge that's gonna be as hard as this. It, it might look easy here. Okay, I'm actually gonna die. Help, help, help. Is he following me? Yes. And he's dead. <laughs> that was risky. Oof. Okay, let's get some protection. We don't even have to get sharpness today or good swords or anything because we're only supposed to use a fist. Also, we're only supposed to use a fist in like fights before someone goes to the comments and is like, eh, Modern Legends, but you said you were only gonna use a fist. Why are you using tools to break bats? I can still use tools to break bats. I just have to use a fist in PvP fights. And um, as you just saw, that worked out pretty well. The one thing that didn't work out all too well is uh, if you're commentating, you don't really keep track of the amount of blocks you have in your inventory. So, uh, ha, what can I say? You didn't see that, right? Let's agree on that. No one has to know. Just, just, that's like our little secret, huh? Sounds good. <laughs> In the last challenge video, which was the hardcore challenge or flawless games for the Bear Boys nerds, I kind of forget to tell you guys what exactly the challenge was inspired by. Like I told you in the outro, but that was like kind of late, you know? Uh, so this time I learned from that. I just recorded that video like a few minutes ago. So yep, time to learn. So this time it's obviously inspired by the solo Bad Boys God himself Heshido, yes. He always used to do challenges like this and the fist only challenge, I've seen that in one of his videos. I, I'm not sure if like another YouTuber did that too, I don't know. I, I just saw that in a Heshido video, so I'm gonna give credit to him. Or let's say them, apparently they're like identifying as female, I'm not sure. Maybe they're identifying as a puppy. That's what I think it actually is. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen. There's only two people left, gray and white, and they are actually fighting, so that's looking really, really tasty. Okay, boys and girls, I just tactically voided. Obviously, that was on purpose. <laughs> and I randomly actually found out that that was not too stupid, because gray is literally here and white is there, so that's actually the fastest way. Also, I already have protection too, but I'm gonna bank those diamonds anyways for protection 3 we might need it who knows who knows i was thinking a lot about this i'm not sure if i want to tell you guys because i really want to depict myself as one of the best bowers players in the world or at least a really decent and sweaty pedal player but uh, i decided to tell you um just as in all these other bad boys youtubers videos like i already told you in the last video also i feel like the game could be over here um, it's the challenge is really hard uh, is really easy not hard oh, I'm completely stupid the challenge is really easy cuz apparently Hypixel is actually having an elo system based on your stars cuz whenever I play on my main account I have 528 stars on there right now um, I get queued with decently sweaty players but whenever I play on this account, I get queued with people like that. I mean, he just railed me, okay, not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's just generally way easier to beat people in this game mode if I'm in the low elo. And I think YouTubers generally manage to, maybe by their nick function or something, get in low elo as well. Because whenever you see a Technoblade video, whenever you see a Game Over 80 video, or videos like that, they generally fight people that have like two brain cells. And that makes me think that they are just playing in that low elo. And that basically means that every challenge that they are doing and every game that they are playing is not all too challenging for them. <laughs> yeah. But that is just a theory, don't burn me alive for that. Obviously all of those people mentioned are still legends at the game and I still severely sim for GB80. GB80, if you're watching this, please send me a private message uh, on Twitter, I guess. 
so we can actually date each other because I feel like we're just born to date. Ah. <laughs> In my head I was like, of course I'm gonna edit that out, but now that I think about it, it's actually really funny. Um, yeah, that's kind of the manly screams I produce whenever something goes kind of wrong. Um, if you're watching my streams, I feel like most of my audience actually is watching my streams, then you already know that! I'm not sure if I should go full tryhard on that guy. Like, you guys know that this is just a fun video. I'm obviously not, like, tryharding to, to get wins out of this, right? Like, I've played one game and I've won one game. I'm expecting myself to win this game too. Even though it's, it's like orchestra, a slightly more sweaty map, you know? I personally enjoy really, really sweaty and tryhardy videos the most. N not even gonna lie, yeah, of course I do. And uh, I feel like there's way too little of these uh, on YouTube. But um, I feel like the general audience is more interested in in entertaining in entertaining videos. So, oh, he what? <laughs> My hits didn't Vegas on him. Videos. So, I feel like that's the reason he beat me up, or he's actually good at the game, like he knew to go mid, but then again he's slow bridge to mid, ah, I don't know, I don't know, let's just say my hits didn't register and that's the only reason. <laughs> also, okay, white, he seems decent too, actually never mind, <laughs> yeah, red actually got their revenge on me, GG's to you red, well played. I kinda do not wanna lose this game, like I might go try out on these people. Okay, but now at least we're gonna get the last bet, so we'll see what's gonna happen there. So now it's just down to me, red and white, I just expect red to win, cause they had a decent amount of time to equip themselves, they probably got a lot of M's and stuff. Okay, ah, uh, this is not good. Oh shoot, and he's actually following me. Ah yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't use my sword. Technically, fist only. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go in on yellow. They are not defending their bed and uh, just straight up rushing, but they are flat bridging and just in general, I expect him to be bad. So that's not really a sign of him being good, but instead it's just a sign of please come here to get hit off. Yeah, please, form an orderly queue to get hit off, even though you're just a singular person. Hello! Hey, man. That's probably not the best way to hit him off. What? I mean, he just hit himself closer to the edge and lit himself on fire. So that was not the worst thing he could have done. I mean, to himself, obviously it was the worst thing, but not to me. <laughs> This video is also probably gonna show a lot of people that I'm not as bad as they think I am. I feel like a lot of people actually think that I'm really bad at this game for having 500 stars. But it's just... As I said, I can't prove anything, but I feel like Hypixel has an ELO system. And in that ELO system, just by the way I play and by the people I play with, like up to 1k star people I play with, uh, I feel like I'm just really high up in that elo, so I'm just fighting a lot of really sweaty people. As you see, whenever I fight people that YouTubers normally fight, I also look like the biggest god in this game. Ah, oh, I accidentally bought... Ah, oh, shoot, hell, I could've... Mm. I could've had protection 3 here, but I was too stupid for that. <laughs> That's probably gonna backfire at some point. So here we are at Aqua Base. Aqua looks decently stacked. But, I mean, look at them. Okay, I completely messed up my blocking in, but it's okay. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait! Okay, uh, I gotta block in here, and then go here, and then do this, and then do this. Yes, no. What is he doing? Where is he going? Yes, stand there. That's smart. Ha! <laughs> Good god. Uh. Okay, hello! Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, step bro? Oh no, you didn't get hit off? Okay. <laughs> this is actually fun, I could get used to this. Like, there's no point in actually playing like this on this alt account all day long, because 
it's worth nothing. These four stars you see there, they are worth nothing. Just as, This is just a, an account where stats are not important and I can do whatever I want. This is not an account where I can grind stats or anything. Oh, so what is that? <laughs> the point I was trying to make is it would be really chill to be able to play like this on my main account and just grind stats and stars by not even using a sword because no cap. These three games you just saw, I didn't even have to cut out any games. Like, literally, I'm just randomly queuing games, and yeah, <laughs> this is happening, what you just saw. This is raw footage. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's edited, but... Uh, uh, and also, can we talk about how I just died like that? <laughs> uh, that's why. That's why I usually don't play maps that I'm not used to just because I really do not know anything about them. I don't know where to block clutch, where limits are and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, he voided. Oh, he disconnected. <laughs> um, I guess let's get right into the outro. <laughs> not gonna lie, this was probably one of the videos I'm the happiest ever with. Like, it was so much fun creating this. It's probably gonna turn out as a really, really cool video. Not gonna lie. And I also hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm definitely gonna do more videos like this, more challenge videos, more fist-only challenges or stuff like that. That was just really, really satisfying. If you want to support me, just as always, leave a thumbs up if you want to, but definitely subscribe, because subscribers mean the world to me. Thank you so much. See you in the next video, and bye!